The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti graphics processing unit. And NVIDIA is sponsoring today's video. Thanks guys. This is our motherboard. Part of our cooling system, another part of our cooling system, and another part of the cooling system. Oh jeez. Some RAM, more RAM, and an SSD. The Intel Core i9, which comes in this very adorable diamond case. And I love, I love diamond things. Perfect. And everything came with this remote for assembly. So I think if I just press one of these buttons, um, everything should just assemble itself. Okay, let's try this one. I think I pressed the wrong button. Okay, maybe it's this one. Sweet, now we can get going with the video, I guess. A few weeks ago, I did a video with Sarah Dietschy and I told her all about my computer woes and I told her I really needed to make an upgrade. So she gave me a lot to think about. Lizzie, you need a new yeah. computer. I edit all the time. In Premiere. And I'm also editing photos as well. I'm working in After Effects. Me editing 4K footage right now is not happening. No. Oh, no, no, it no. It is so painfully slow and it's 100% affecting my process. With Premiere, because these PC laptops use NVIDIA graphics. You can have what's called CUDA processing, and that allows you to not only export quicker, but also render and scrub through your timeline way faster. It accelerates the graphics. You can only get that with NVIDIA graphics, and that's only gonna be in these Windows laptops. NVIDIA, Intel, all of these people are constantly upgrading their processors and their graphics cards. Mm -hmm. Having an origin PC, you literally just unscrew a few screws, and you could very easily upgrade storage, upgrade your processors, upgrade graphics as they release their upgrades. So you're not gonna have to buy a new computer every two yeah. years. All you do is spend the extra few hundred dollars and do the very easy upgrades. Now Sarah mentioned something really interesting that I think a lot of you creative people need to know. She mentioned NVIDIA graphics, or in my case, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti GPU. Here's the thing. A lot of us creative people want to lean away from nitty gritty tech specs when it comes to computers and just get into that creative goodness. I get it. It's overwhelming. Honestly, you need a good GPU because it's not only going to speed up your workflow, but it's going to dramatically increase the quality of your work. Let's take it over to my desk, get off the floor, and I can show you exactly what this baby does. Essentially, the NVIDIA GeForce graphic processing units are really powerful graphic processors. Now, what these do is dramatically increase processing intensive tasks, and that means encoding video or rendering 3D graphics or processing intensive photo editing. What I'm gonna show you guys right now is this is my YouTube video that I put out last week and it's all shot in 4K. So we're gonna watch this 4K footage play back on my MacBook and then compare it to how it plays back on my new PC. And then we're going to compare the encoding times too. So this should be interesting. <laughs> Let's start on my MacBook first and we're just going to play this back from the beginning in full resolution in 4K. We are oh. Not good at all. <laughs> oh, that's painful. I'm a little embarrassed to tell you guys that this is how I've been working. Now let's go over to my PC. Oh, look, it's playing back perfectly. This is gonna change my life. Okay, now for what I really wanted to show you guys, let's compare the export time. So what I normally do is choose the YouTube 1080p HD preset, or at least that's what we're going to use for this experiment. Let's see how long this would take on my MacBook. So it started off at four minutes, and now it's at half an hour, and it's increasing. Now it's at 50 minutes. Um, 50 minutes pretty much sucks. Let's see how the PC does. Does that say four minutes? Oh my God. Chris. What? Literally took five minutes instead of my edit before took 50 minutes. <laughs> what? It literally took, it took less than that. It took four minutes and 38 seconds. Isn't your vlog nine minutes? Yeah. So it exported it in half, like the time half the time of the actual video. We should have done this a long time. I know. I'm throwing my Mac away, seriously. No. Yeah, throw it in the garbage. I'm gonna throw it, it where it belongs. 
Should I even cut this out of the video or should I just leave it? We went down to a four minute and 38 second export versus 50 minutes. So you can see how playing back 4K footage is already going to change my life, but knowing that this GPU can actually handle up to 8K red files, that's insane. Without proxies, without pre-caching. We don't necessarily know in our business how things are going to progress, what kind of cameras we're going to be using in the future, what we're going to need out of our computers and out of a GPU. And the fact that we can kind of prepare ourselves ahead of time or with a PC that you can make those adjustments as you go and as time goes on, is pretty amazing and you can't say that about a Mac. Other things you should know, if you're working in Lightroom or if you're working in Photoshop, you're gonna be working stutter free. There isn't going to be a lag. And for those of you who are working in After Effects, you can build light, interact with, and update those 3D renders in real time. I am beyond thrilled with my new PC and my new GPU, but just so you guys know, I will be keeping my MacBook for travel for now. Thanks for watching guys and happy PC building. Okay, bye. Honestly, you need a good, you need to get to me. <laughs>